Welcome back. Have you thought about how much computer science and coding are part of your life without even knowing it? Well, this week, all across the world, students are participating in the Hour of Code, including students at Grafton High School. Barbara Ron joins us now here in the studio, and she's going to tell us well, just how instrumental are these skills for these students. Don, this event helps expand students' world and gives them hands-on learning, which many of them told me is their preferred method of learning. It teaches you that there's other stuff, and it's good to learn about technology. Grafton High School introduced the Hour of Code in 2019 in hopes of inspiring students and engaging them in the world of computer science. It started with small activities in the classroom, one guest speaker here and there, um, and in the last two years, it kind of escalated. So we are just more than overwhelmed and pleased with everyone's participation. This year, more than 25 businesses and organizations jumped on board to deliver an hour packed with a Activities. So we have code combat to teach them how to code by learning to play a game. Uh, I brought in the Turing Tumbles, which teaches them kind of how the computer reads the program by putting these little balls and making them do what they need to do. Another goal, to show students coding is not the hacking you see in movies, but that lots of fun can be had. Brylin Perkin helped her peers in the special education classes code for a dance party. They did the whole thing because it was like in big bold letters so they could read it and it was little animals dancing and playing to the music. Other entertaining activities included operating drones, designing a 3D printing object, getting to code with microcomputers like Raspberry Pi, and learning how to make a lucrative career out of eSports. Not a lot of people think you can make money from playing video games, but you can. You can be a tester, you can be an actual gamer, you can be a videographer. You could go to nationals and play it for a sport. Coding and informational sciences are male-dominated fields, with women making up only 5% of the software developer workforce, according to Statista. And teachers like Stacy Ward are taking steps to bridge that gap. She says they have just kicked off their Girls Who Code club at Grafton and are working on memberships now. A recruiter for the Army ROTC at WVU told me students are able to get scholarships through the military if they pursue the computer and informational sciences field to combat the increasing cybersecurity threats. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Barbara Ron.